when we last spoke, this was your prediction in terms of the outcome of the electoral court allowing uh, Mr. Zuma's candid candidacy to stand. In that conversation, you also said it would be a very bad idea for the IEC to try and appeal this and take it further. What do you think now that they've gone that route? I'm really, really surprised that uh, the commission has taken this route. Uh, for many reasons, I think uh, they are really ill-advised. Uh, the first one is that the, the, the electoral court uh, indicated that they were going to give them uh, the reasons later on. Uh, but the, that because of the agency of the issue, they had to only give an order. And I don't understand the panic. And I don't understand why they're approaching the constitutional court on an urgent basis if the clarity they seek is clarity relating to the next elections. The next elections are still very far, and uh, they should not be panicking in a manner that they're panicking. But they've got it all wrong um, in terms of in the interpretation. And by the way, I try to give them uh, unsolicited advice uh, long before this process. Uh, but obviously, they didn't agree with that, that advice. And I'm not too sure what clarity they're seeking from the, from the uh, Constitutional Court, because and the provisions of Section 47 are so clear. Chapter 4 of the Constitution deals with Parliament, and Parliament, only Parliament can deal with its matters. Um, you said you try to give them unsolicited advice. Are you at liberty, since you brought it up, Terry, to tell us exactly what the details of that are? No, the, the, the details basically was saying what I've been saying, that uh, they are not empowered in terms of Section 47 uh, to administer... Uh, the, 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 the objections in terms of Section 47. And I did this after I had seen their statement where they were saying that they were going to be considering uh, the elections and drawing, rather, the objections and drawing uh, the public to Section 47 and Section 106 of the Constitution. And so I sent them a message and said, I think uh, you are making an error here uh, because we are not empowered in terms of the Constitution to do this. So, the, what I've been saying is what I've said to them privately, unsolicited, and normally I, I make people pay for this advice, but I did it for free because I wanted them to make sure that they do the right thing.